the right outcome will ultimately be some form of deterrence and mutually assured destruction. I wrote a paper with two other authors, Dan Hendricks and Alex Wang, where we named it Mutual AI Malfunction. Mm. You're the United States, I'm China, you're ahead of me. At some point, you cross a line, and I, China, go, this is unacceptable. It's a real threat to the identity of my my country, my economic, what have you. Under this scenario, I would be highly tempted to do a cyber attack to slow you down. In mutually assured mal malfunction, if you will, we have to engineer it so that you have the ability to then do the same thing to me. Mm -hmm. And that causes both of us to be careful not to trigger the other. That's our best formulation right now. And also I'm asserting that everyone arrives at this eventual state of super intelligence at a roughly the same time. Again, these are debatable points. But the most interesting scenario is we're saying it's 1938, the letter has come you know, from Einstein to the president, and we're having a conversation and we're saying, well, how does this end? What you would have said is, this ultimately ends with us having a bomb, the other guy's having a bomb, and then we're gonna have one heck of a negotiation to try to make sure that we don't end up destroying each other. And I think the same conversation needs to get started now, well before the Chernobyl events, well before the buildups.